Your mom. Hello guys, welcome to day 3 of the 30 day manga challenge that I'm doing to challenge my productivity. Now I know I kind of stumbled in day 2 because, well, I have excuses but the point is I was late and I'm, here's the third one. I'll try to get this one up the same day as I'm um, getting the second one up to kind of catch up but anyway, today's topic is my favorite manga cup. Now, I don't want to cheat and add my favorite manga's mangaka to the list, but he is one of my favorites and I'd be keen to read anything else he does outside One Piece if that ever happens. But, um, here are the other artists that I always kind of like keep a look out, f uh, keep an eye out for. Um, and I've got two, now I've got four different mangakas that I want to talk about. Two of which I like solely for the art, and the other two um, are and story as well. So, um, everyone knows this person, Yusuke Murata. He currently illustrates One Punch Man, but I have Ice Shield 21, which is also incredibly excellent and showcases this guy's mad skills in drawing. So anything that he draws, I am super interested in reading, at least to take a look at it. Um, also, I want to recommend Ice Shield 21. It's really fun. I haven't finished it. I think I'm almost there a few volumes away from the end. And so, um, up to the point I left off, it was really good. I do think I cried at one point um, during one of their trainings. But anyway, Ice Shield 21, Yusuke Murata, he draws One Punch Man right now. The other person that I love the art of is the artist for Seven Deadly Sins. He's also the writer. His name is... Um, Dakaba, uh, Dakaba Suzuki or Su Suzuki Dakaba san sensei. Um, so this guy's art. Actually, I didn't know about this guy until my friend told me to read this manga. And after I read it, well, I just, I was just blown away because of the ink work that he does. Um, I really like mangaka who don't use a lot of screen tone. I know that's um, a thing that a lot of people do, but I'm not a fan. And this artist barely uses any screen tone. Most of it is crosshatching, um, line work, ink work, and I just think that's super impressive. This guy's expressions and characters are also really nice. So Seven Deadly Sins, if you are interested in sort of a little, it's a little bit fan service. He's a little bit etchy, but a really interesting, like shonen-esque series. This one is by Kodansha, um, and it's really good. I recommend it to everybody. Another artist that I love, 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 but um, unfortunately I don't think this any of this person's works have a English translation is Yu Ito, and this one is my curry. Wow, it just blends with the background. My Korean version of Shut Hell. Uh, this artist, I first knew about them because they were the character illustrator for um, Gundam Iron-Blooded Orphans. She was the character concept designer. The mech designer was a separate person, but she did the human characters. And I fell in love with her work. And Shut Hell is beautiful. It's... Let me see if I can... Her style is super unique and interesting. Um but very, very beautiful. I don't know if you can see what's going on there. Maybe I can find a better, a better page. I haven't read too much of Shut Hell, but from what I've read so far, it's really good. And I just love how um, this person draws, and so far how the story plays out was really interesting, which is why I really like this book. This mangaka, sorry. And here is my other favorite. It is Natsume Ono. She does so many books. Her books are, all, a lot of them are in English already, so I highly recommend them. I have... This is volume 3 of House of Five Leaves because I don't have volume 1 and 2, but 
I did watch the anime and I watched Ristorante Paradiso and that's one of my favorite Jose um, animes. So I love how this lady writes her characters and I like the tone and the pace that she goes. Um, people would say it's a little bit slow and I can understand where they're coming from but I feel like her characters have this like realistic pace to them and I really enjoy um, how she writes the characters. They're really sensitive, um, meaningful, deep characters. On the quiet side, they're not loud like shonen action um, manga, so that's something special. It's, it's a nice, it's different, and I really enjoy it. And you guys know, everyone knows I love my shonen, so I'm not bashing on shonen, I'm just saying that this lady writes a really nice, quiet tone manga. And the art is also really, really nice, really simple, but really expressive, I think. Also, she has a very unique style. Which always helps, of course. And I actually have one more BL manga mangaka. I can't remember if any of her work is in English. I feel like she will eventually be um, licensed or translated though because she is that popular. She is um, Nakamura Asumiko. I've mentioned her previously, previously in my other videos with some of her other works. Her movie got licensed actually. It's called Dokyusei, Classmates. And her, like Natsume Ono here, they write really sensitive, quiet characters and they move in a very like quiet, casual pace. And I really enjoy both of their works. They're very different in art style. Let me just find a book that I can show you. So here is one of the books that I have. This is by Natsume Ono. Let me just show you her... No, this is Natsume Ono. This is Nakamura Asumiko. Sorry, sorry, I always get them mixed up. But look at how delicate these lines are. Um, she has a very, very unique squiggly art style. And some people don't like them. I think it's... Genius. She's beautiful. Her work's so beautiful. <laughs> um, but they're a bit lewd, so um, let me see if I can find sort of a safe, safe thing to show you. Alright. Check out how she draws hands in this. Do you see it? Um, I think it's this panel down here. I hope you can see that. It's really beautiful, really quiet, and I just I just love her work. <sighs> so all of these mangaka are just simply amazing. Obviously there are other mangaka out there who are just, just so amazing, like um, Naoki, what's his name? U Urasa Naoki-san, who does um, 20th Century's Boy, and um, also monster um that he's got a whole thing by himself another artist who's also mangaka who's good of course i have to mention hirohiko araki-san as also um fukumoto nobuyuki is that his name um yeah fukumoto he does kaiji just all these mangaka who writes really interesting stories but these are just my top top favorites just because they have the good looks and the um, the storytelling to back it up. Murata actually doesn't have story chops, but he is solely for the artwork. Everyone else is really good at what they do, including the writing. Murata is just an illustrator, I mean manga artist. So yeah. <sighs> that is day three, guys. Thank you for watching. I'm sorry about the late day two. Um, Hopefully tomorrow, I'll be able to bring you the next day. Alright, I'm really tired. I don't know if you can tell. And sorry if you guys are... If you, you guys are ever wondering why I wear the same shirt every every time I make a video. It's because I'm usually in my pajamas. This this Justice League shirt is my um, pajama, pajama shirt. 
I also have multiple of the same shirts. So don't go thinking I don't shower or I just sit and make all these videos in one sitting. <laughs> okay, thank you for watching guys. Bye!